This is the prolific teaching ministry of Apostle Tuluagola, the lead pastor of His Worship Christian Network. Brace yourself for an experience of enlightenment, education, and transformation as you engage with this episode. I don't think in your first year of ministry, you should be missing any of your ministries. I think you should sit down, do your teachings, lead your prayers, do your counseling sessions. If you feel led to do special programs, except God says, invite people, use your people. Our first ladies on fire conference was 2015. My speakers were in Kechi, Emmanuel's in Kechi, Abby. Then my friend, um, Minister Temlade, she was around for this conference too. They were the two that preached. I just joined and I didn't plan to preach. There were the two female speakers. I just found out that the male I came from work in Ibadan and sat down. Their fluency died and they began to pick their words. Okay, it's me because I'm around. How many of you remember that night? Lamde was Jerry around that time. I think it was the child generation. Massive move of the spirit that night. But there were the speakers. Our own first, um, what did we call itself? Mandate, Mandate for our conference. He had only one. That's the male side of our conference. I preached. Who else preached? Lamide preached. Daniel, our other keyboardist, also preached. It was us. And then um, a by on me, I think Daniel too, my Daniel from Shalom to preach so it was just we we you need to train the people let them grow into the grace that god has given you don't do anniversaries because everybody does them there may be nothing to celebrate yet for you are you with me it's 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 not a norm it's a one year anniversary and then you bring people confuse your congregation because what you have been called to do has not been cast in stone i remember some years ago bishop td jakes invited somebody to preach for him and he traveled he needed to do a series he should still be on youtube this is that holy spirit because he thinks that man said about the holy spirit he preached for about seven sundays to recover the congregation the person was a sincere person but the person said what he knew and as the shepherd of that flock his job was to straighten the church so labor to straighten and then you can invite our ministry sons know that i don't do first year second year conferences for anybody if you want to do a conference be the preacher in your conference let your choir be the ministers if you have raised them where there's something they can do after a while you can bring supporting ministries but at that point your people will no longer be deceivable there are things they will no longer judge even if the speaker says it because they know what is right are you with me in that first year the things you can't teach well expose your members to the materials so when we're in 40 those early days i'll tell this is what i'm reading now i've also told you these are the people i listen to so that everybody can come into common knowledge i rest better if you are equally potentiated that's how to start ministry not looking for the strongest minister in town and then you invite the person this is the prolific teaching ministry of apostle Tuluagola, the lead pastor of his worship christian network brace yourself for an experience of enlightenment education and transformation as you engage with this episode